So if you've seen some of my other reviews, you'll know that I really like these E-Neck Fire E18s. Very good headphones. They're around about a £30 price point, and you get up to 15 hours playtime out of them, which is pretty good. Now these are cheaper versions. These are all under £15, maybe £12, £13. And I wanted to try them as a comparison. These get four to five hours playtime. So I'll give you an idea of the specs actually, because they're very much the same on all of them. Five to six hours playtime, um, about one to two hours to fully charge them, and 100 hours standby time. So what they mean is because the case stores electricity when you're, when you're not using them, they charge back up in the case, and that increases your standby time. Enac Fire is probably about three times as long in, in battery life. However, these are half the price or less. So let's see how they compare um, in features and in sound quality. Not everyone wants to spend £30 or more on a set of headphones to take on holiday or to go to the gym where you might lose them. So these budget ones are obviously worth exploring and seeing if you can find a set that you're happy with that can work for you to a reasonable standard. I tried to look at some features that would make them, I suppose, more desirable. And the things I liked about the Enec Fire was the magnetic case, magnetic charge. So I made sure they all come with cases and I tried to get them all magnetic, but as I was trying to look at the magnetic ones, I was struggling in the price point. They did look to be the best overall, so we'll start with these. Comes with a charge lead and an instruction booklet. case is really nice quality as you can see as you open the case it tells you how much battery life you've got and as you charge it that goes up to 100% very very nice that's even magnetic there as the catch closes very nice again I really like the finish on these if you can see there they're nicely crafted nicely designed very promising when I opened them and a wonderful look magnetic in there as well so these look to be really good, they seem to tick all the boxes. I'll try them for comfort as well. Okay, so comfortable enough, they're not gonna fall anywhere. They're not gonna fall out of your ear. Um, and they look quite good in, they look quite good when you're wearing them. They don't look particularly bad. They don't look cheap or tacky. Yeah, they're, they're good. However, there was a problem. I managed to connect the right one to my phone and it sounded fairly quiet and fairly dull, to be fair. When I tried to connect the, the left one, it just would not connect. It's always in this search mode. So I contacted the sellers to get a replacement and unfortunately, every one of their headphones is experiencing the same issue. So, much as I like the case and I like the design of these and the fact that they're magnetic, they just simply don't work. I wonder if it's going too cheap. There's an old saying, buy cheap, pay twice. And I think with these, with these TWS 5.0s, I think I've paid too cheap and I've expected too much from the, from the technology. So nice looking things, um, but I think we'll be discarding these. The fact that they don't work on both headphones means we need to take them out of the out of the race and don't compare at all with the Enac Fire. They're not a good substitute for it. If you are going to buy this model, please double check with the seller that they are actually working on, on both ears and that they do pair with each other. If you do get them that work, if you do get some that work okay, I warn you now, sound quality from what I could hear of the one earphone, very bland, probably five out of ten, very quiet no real bass to it, it just sounded like a very, very cheap set of headphones. The next ones I ordered were the very, very popular Blue Dio High Hurricanes. 
I noticed that these were getting sold like hotcakes on eBay, on Amazon, so I thought, why are these, they're only like 12 99 why is everyone buying these? They can't be that good compared to my e-neck fryers. I wanted to do a comparison, so I ordered some, and let's let you have a quick look at what you get in the box, I can find a way. Nice little charge lead there. And it comes with a, a spare set, well two spare sets of the ear, ear plugs, or earbuds as you call them. So you get different sets. Now you get different sizes as well because if you've got particularly big ears or small ears, you need to get the right size to get the correct seal in the ear, which gives you the, the best sound quality. So yep, yeah, these were good. Um, the case, first impressions were the case is quite flimsy. It says Bluedio on the top there. Um, now, we know these are called the Hurricane. It doesn't say Hurricane anywhere on the case. I noticed that when you're using it and charging it, only one LED works. I don't suppose it matters. I guess it just shows you that they're charging. The case, very flimsy and plasticky compared to the Enec Fire. The headphones are quite bulky. I'll just try them in the ear for comfort. Now see, that's good because when it's in your ear, it does form a very good seal around the inner eardrum. And if you've got the correct earbuds in, you will get good sound quality. In fact, just a second while I have a listen. That is very good sound quality. Very rich bass. In fact, you can really feel the bass thumping. Not as, not as thick a bass as the E-neck fire, but given these are half the price, I think the sound quality is pretty good with this. Now, I don't, a couple of things I don't like. The case is very flimsy and they're hard to get in and out. There's, there's no magnetizing in this at all. It just plugs in and, and charges. However, if you can overlook that, they're a good little budget headphone. So, sound wise, I'd have to give these eight out of 10. Very good sound. I did a test with these as well. I, I went out using my pressure washer to see how, how they would work in relation to noise cancelling or how they would sound with a lot of background noise. And I have to say, because they get so close in the ear, sound quality was very clear, very much unaffected by the sound around me. I could hear the pressure washer quietly in the background. So obviously I'm, I'm still aware of it, but it didn't interfere with the sound. So. These do a good job actually when it comes to sound quality and I can see now why they're quite popular. Another feature I noticed about these was this, there's some kind of weird gyro sensor in the, in, the, in the right earpiece because when it's in your ear and someone talks to you and you take it out of your ear, it pauses the music. I don't know why, I don't know how. And then when you put it back in your ear, it plays the music again. I, I noticed that as I was speaking to uh, my friends and my family, you just pull that one out and it, it lets you speak. Very clever feature, and I've not seen that on any other of the headphones I've had, so I quite like that. So I was beginning to warm to these. I still prefer my Enac Fire, but I like these more, purely because they might not look as fashionable and they're quite bulky, but they stay in your ear. So if I want to do run around the garden, cutting the grass, or you know, doing some going for a run, going to the gym. I know, I know they're not going to fall out and that adds a lot of um, desirability to this product. I mean, they're not the most stylish, I'll give you that, but they do work, they sound good, good rich bass, and they stay in your ear. So if you can pick these up for like 12, 15 pounds, you're, you know, you're onto quite a good deal with that. So just to recap, these are the Blue Dio Hurricane Highs, but we have another pair to try yet. We have these i7s. So we're getting to the conclusion of the review now. So as we said before, I'm comparing budget, very, very budget headphones with, with slightly more premium headphones. These are the Enec Fire E18s. They're around about 30 pound price point, up to 15 hours playtime. These ones are about the 12, 13 pound play point, five to six hours playtime. However, 
let's see how they compare for sound and for features. I was hoping that these would be similar to the first set we tried. If you remember the first set, the TWS5 um, with the magnetic case and the nice magnetic way it locked in. It's a very similar case to the Bluedio Hurricane that we looked at. Perhaps slightly smaller and maybe slightly better plastic, but a very similar case. Um, lights up as it charges and you can see all kinds of lights going on in there, I'm sure. So a nice case. Easier to get out than the Blue Dio Hurricane. I found the Blue Dio Hurricane a real pain to pull out, to prize out of the case, because, because these are not magnetic, they have charging points underneath, and it has to go in the case, and you have to push it in place to charge, which is great until you need to take it out and you have to pull it out to, to use it. Let me try it for comfort now and see how it feels in the ear. So, you know, they're not going to fall out the ear. They're um, quite good in there. They're quite secure. I would say they don't feel as secure as the Hurricane Blue Deer because what you find with these ones are they haven't got the earbuds, so they don't kind of squash into your ear. They don't squash into your eardrum. Now, that causes two differentials there. Firstly, they're loose in the ear. If I was running around at the gym or in the garden, these would fall out. I know they would. Secondly, you don't get that seal in the ear, so you don't get the bass. So sound-wise, it's four or five out of 10. In fact, sound-wise, they're very much like these ones that didn't work very well, the first ones we looked at. Nowhere near the bass or the volume of the, of the Blue Dio Hurricane. Nowhere near. But, again, to, to show you, taking, taking these out is a pain. Once you've got it out, Let's compare them for style. Well, they're actually very similar in size, aren't they? I thought there'd be a bit more difference, but they're very similar in size and style. But these are a lot quieter. So these are supposed to have noise cancelling. So again, I went out with a pressure washer and tried them. All I heard was a pressure washer. These couldn't really get loud enough to overcome the pressure washer, whether the noise cancelling was working or not. Whereas the Hurricane, the Blue Deer Hurricanes, I could hear them perfectly, whether they've got noise cancelling or not, I don't really care. They just sound about twice as loud with about twice as much bass. So these blew, they blew these out of the water. So I would say, we'll put these away. Let them, let them charge up by all means. But the i7s, although very popular and selling very well, they come in a range of colors. And I think the reason they're popular is because they very much look like the Apple earphones, which are very desirable at the moment. In conclusion, if you want a good set of budget headphones that have got good bass and good sound, I really think the best choice would be the Blue Dio High Hurricane because you just get so much for your money. The sound quality is so rich and lively, plus they stay in your ear, they don't fall out, they're comfortable. It just works, they just work well. When I compare them to the E-Neck Fire, the E-Neck Fire are at a different level. They're more bassy, they're clearer, they're louder, and the battery lasts longer. However, these are 30 pounds. These are about 12, 13 pounds. So I think they're in separate leagues, but they sound very, very similar. And that's a really good um, nod to the Blue Dio Hurricane. So I started this review trying to find out why these were so popular and why everyone's buying them. I think it purely comes down to the fact they're reliable, they work, they sound good, and they don't fall out of your ear. And if that's what you want from a set of budget headphones, give these a try. Blue Dio Hurricane High.